Dr. Crew, C-R-E-W-E, -E, reported on this use of raw milk therapy. Advances cases of pulmonary tuberculosis improved rapidly. Hippocrates told doctors hundreds of years ago raw milk would greatly alleviate TB. Wow! Who ever heard of that? Hippocrates said that. In cases where there, there's marked edema, the results obtained are surprisingly marked. With all medication withdrawn, one case lost 26 pounds in six days. All right, guys, we're going to get right into it. In the last video on the way out the door, I kind of made a joke about the raw milk. I said, man, I bet you the raw milk is actually really, really good for you. And that's why there's such a, a bend on getting you to get rid of the raw milk. I was like, I bet it helps fight all the stuff they're throwing at you. And man, do I have some information for you guys here today, okay? This first thing that I'm going to share with you guys is from 1928. 1928, Dr. J.F. Lyman, a professor of agricultural chemistry at the Ohio State University, said, The dividing line between food and medicine sometimes becomes almost invisible. In many diseases, nothing heals the body and restores strength like raw milk. Isn't that interesting? Also in 1929, Dr. Crew of the Mayo Foundation in Minnesota, for 15 years I have employed so-called raw milk treatment in various diseases. The results obtained have been so uniformly excellent that one's conception of disease and alleviation is necessarily modified. So he was actually using raw milk to treat ailments and it was proving successful. Just a little FYI. Now, if we want to move further into the future, we'll go to the CDC website. And the CDC website says, pasteurization is crucial for, for milk safety, killing harmful germs that can cause illness. Consuming raw milk can lead to serious health risks, especially for certain vulnerable populations. And choosing pasteurized milk and dairy products is the best way to safely enjoy the nutritional benefits of milk. That is a stone cold lie. And now we're going to talk about the pasteurization of milk. Because when you pasteurize milk, you actually heat it up to a high temperature, which kills all the enzymes and bacteria in said milk so you're not getting any beneficial ones and you're not getting any bad ones and basically all you're drinking is colored white water that is actually making you sick and my own personal testimony i was in the city you know 15 years ago my wife and i we moved off grid we live up in the country by an amish community we've been drinking raw milk for 15 years coming from the city we have been making butter with raw milk for 50 we have been leaving it set out on the counter and watch it collaborize and get all gross looking and you can still use it okay it's the pasteurized milk that you cannot do that to you will get deathly sick okay if you do that with pasteurized milk so for so we have a little bit of real life testing going on the amish are never getting sick with any of these foodborne illnesses that they're claiming so it's all nonsense quite honestly Pasteurization destroys and adversely changes many nutrients, immune enhancing components, and other factors by exposure to high heat. Repeated heating and long heat exposure, vitamin A is degraded, proteins and enzymes are denatured, vitamins B6 and B12 are virtually destroyed. Other vitamins are diminished and beneficial bacteria and immunoglobins are also destroyed. Raw milk sours naturally and safely because it's his design, okay? I'm trying to implore you all to get onto God's design and get off of man's design, okay? Man is killing everything that is good and he's giving it to you like the scriptures say and he's giving you what is bad and telling you that it's good. <laughs> pasteurization does not sterilize milk. So re residual bacteria and post-pasteurization contamination can cause health problems. Extensive records show that raw milk from healthy cows has a high safety record and that pasteurized milk does not, having caused thousands of cases of bacterial diseases. Ultra high temperature, UHT, sterilized milk 
as it heats chilled milk from 285 degrees in less than two seconds. Proponents of pasteurization have used lies, blatant propaganda, and fear tactics to achieve consumer acceptance. So hopefully you guys are finding some of this useful. Before you guys get out of here, I wanna read you some of the stuff that our friend Sally Fallon wrote. If you guys are not members of the Weston A. Price Organization, please go find their website, Weston A. Price Organization, and sign up. It's like $40, and it's gonna be the best $40 that you've ever spent. They're gonna send you tons of information about food at the store, about, Actually, this site here has a raw milk finder. If you'd like to purchase raw milk in your state or your area, you can log on to this right here. It's uh, realmilk.com, and you can find people that sell raw milk in your area and get all the benefits that the Father of the Most High wants you to have, all by His design. But Sally Fallon is really respected in the food business, I guess you would say, as far as you know, giving you guys the straight shooting advice um, like in this case, raw milk is good for you. And also other things that they talk about, uh, the, the white sugar, the white flour, and how all that stuff is really bad for your health. And they have it documented as well. But Sally Fallon wrote this about, maybe some of you heard about the Cornette. It was a magazine that came out and said, raw milk can kill you. This was back in the day a little bit, 1945 actually. And they basically said that there was a brasiliosis uh, a outbreak in a town called Crossroads, killing one third of the inhabitants, okay? So she dug into that story a little bit, and the problem with this piece of reporting is that there was no town called Crossroads and no outbreak to be reported. The whole story was a fabrication otherwise known as a lie. All the lies about raw milk have continued ever since. Unfortunately, the fictitious, the fictitious Crossroads story paved the way for laws against selling raw milk and starting with Michigan in 1948. So it's one of my theories too that one of the reasons why they're getting the raw milk thing going is they want to get the state legislators to enact laws against you purchasing raw milk if you don't already have them in your state. I can't believe that in some states raw milk is actually banned from drinking uh, because I think that this is actually going to keep you healthy from the things to come. Okay, and the things that are happening, just kind of like what we found out about eggs, if you were following the eggs uh, versus the spike protein and the other things that were going on in round one of uh, human extinction, but now we're on round two. Now also, if you follow the raw milk story, you'll find that they brought the cows into the towns because the towns were becoming populated and they kept the cows next to the breweries and then they would just throw all the brewer's yeast in for the cows. Hey, that's great. And they would just feed them that. That was their only food for diet. So that created a toxic milk, if you will, which is again, only caused by industrial farming. All right, so fresh milk actually heals the body and restores health. Dr. Crew, C-R-E-W-E, -E, reported on this use of raw milk therapy. Advances cases of pulmonary tuberculosis improved rapidly. Hippocrates told doctors hundreds of years ago, raw milk would greatly alleviate TB. Wow! Who ever heard of that? Hippocrates said that. In cases where there, there's marked edema, the results obtained are surprisingly marked. With all medication withdrawn, one case lost 26 pounds in six days, huge edema disappearing from the abdomen and legs with great relief of the patient. Cardiac and kidney. Cases showed remarkable improvement. One patient with very advanced heart and kidney disease lost 30 pounds of fluid in six days of drinking raw milk. One of the treatment of high blood pressures, we had never seen such rapid and lasting results by any other method. On obesity, one patient reduced from 325 pounds to 284 pounds in two weeks on four quarts of milk a day while her blood pressure was reduced from 270 or 220 to 170. The raw milk treatment of diabetes caused more patients to become sugar free in four to 10 weeks. The milk sugar in five quarts of milk, the amount he used for daily for diabetes was one half pound. Patients with heart failure were taken off medications including Dizalidius, Lanolixin, and responded splendidly. Man, is this really right? They want to get rid of raw milk? Rapid and marked improvement on infection and the in 
and the reduction of the size of the prostate gland was seen routinely with shrinkage and the gland, the blockage was clear and surgery can often be avoided. Urinary tract infections, even without prostate swelling, were greatly improved. Y'all, these are the benefits of drinking the raw milk per this article. Quote from Dr. Cruz colleagues, also treating with raw milk. This was the worst case of psoriasis I have ever seen. The boy was literally covered from head to foot with scales. We put the boy on a milk diet and less than a month he had skin like a baby's. And I explained to you guys earlier in the video, I was drinking the processed milk and it was causing psoriasis bad. When I cut that out and we only use the real milk now, my psoriasis is gone, no pills needed. No big pharma. The large group of patients which no specific disease could be found, they responded admirably to raw milk therapy. The treatment of various diseases over a period of 18 years with a particularly exclusive raw milk diet has convinced me personally that most important single factor in the cause of disease and in the resistance to disease is food. Dr. Evelyn Sprawson of the London Hospital in certain institutions children were brought up on raw milk as opposed to pasteurized milk had perfect teeth no decay in the Lancet published in children's teeth are less likely to decay on a diet supplemented with raw milk rather than pasteurized milk and I could go on and on and on on these benefits y'all it's like lots of pages of them and they hide this information from you guys but Doug's going to send it out to you as long as you're on the email list. You'll have to go to offgridwithdougandstacy.com, fill out the box that pops up talking about your email. You'll get a re-email from us, and it'll have a blue box that says, hey, confirm you want to be on our email list. Hit that blue box, and we'll send out this information. I'm going to send this out uh, tomorrow. Uh, for you guys right away. Today's 8-4. Raw milk is a political issue. Since raw milk is legal to buy in many states, it should be legal to buy in all states. As of July 2023, through either statute, regulation, or policy, 46 states now allow the sale of raw milk for human consumption, the sale of raw milk for pet consumption, or the distribution of raw milk through head share agreements. In California, since 1953, millions of people drank over 3 billion glasses of Alta Dene Dairy Raw Milk, okay? And I mean, on and on about this. And in Switzerland, people have sturdy physiques, immunity to dental caries and digestive diseases, no deformities or dental arches in the face. They ate some, you know, just more and more about your diet. Y'all, the, the food is the key, okay? The food is the key. But I'm gonna send this information out to you guys. Share this video with your friends so we can get this real raw milk news out there for folks so they can understand man like everything the cdc says you just might want to do the opposite i don't know i'm just saying like it's very suspect okay we just want you to live a healthy we just want you to live a happy <laughs> we just want you to live a happy healthy life with unadulterated unmolested food that comes from the seed and from the earth like the most high intended. Is that too much to ask? Every time man gets involved, we end up sick or dead. So I just provided you guys with a little bit of information on raw milk and the benefits to your health and your body. And for thousands of years, man has been drinking raw milk and all of a sudden there's a hysteria around it. Highly suspect. So use this video for information. Share this information with your friends. Look for the more documented email that I'm going to send out to you guys tomorrow and have a nice day. Remember those TV commercials about drinking milk and now all of a sudden it's bad for you. <laughs>